I would definitely want to fuck a slave. I'm dead ass, cause child. Okay, I would be on that. Let's see. I would be on that plantation getting waxed left and right, baby. Let me, let me get the opportunity to really fuck a real deal slave, baby. Okay. It's your girl Megan Rose, and I'm back with another video. I'm in the Chick Fil A parking lot. I just got some Chick Fil A. This is actually my first time eating Chick Fil A. I know I'm late, right? And right now I'm just trying to find a good spot to talk to y'all because I'm gonna do a juicy Q and A mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Mukbang style, whatever. I'm just trying to find a good spot where nobody just like just staring at me and shit because that's annoying. Like it's like I'm talking to rose petals, okay? What the fuck is you looking? Look, I feel like I'm over here trying to find a spot to 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 get busy at. Y'all know when y'all be trying to get it popping, whatever. Y'all gotta find a good spot to get it popping at. Like literally. All right, this looks good. Did y'all see that meme where they said? <laughs> People that back into parking spots just want attention. Like, listen, people that don't um, back into parking spots are just mad that they can't drive, baby, okay? All right, y'all. Let me turn this heat off because it is on hell, child. Let's get right into this video. I would like for you guys to give me some of your answers to it. Like, let me know. I really enjoy engaging with my subscribers. Like, I don't like posting videos just to be posted. Like, I want to. I post videos to engage with my subscribers to get y'all's feedback. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, answer some of the questions. Like, if you ain't shy, boo, answer some of the questions in the comment section below. This is a judgment-free zone, baby. And y'all know how the rose petal gang get down. If you've been rose petaling for a minute, baby, okay? Here I am. Let me get this my thumbnail popping or whatever. Okay. So I ordered, I ordered a Chick Fil A sandwich with some fries, mm. with some fries or whatever, and a Sprite. And I got some Chick Fil A sauce. So I got my questions on here or whatever. So the first question of the juicy Q and A is, one of my most weirdest sexual requests. Well, at first, at first I thought one of my weirdest sexual requests was when a dude asked me to suck his nipples. Cause I was like, child, do you want your nipples up? I really didn't know dudes was into that. So I'm like, what? Suck your nipples, whatever, right? But, turns out, as I got older, I didn't suck any more nipples, whatever, but, turns out, like, there's a good amount of dudes that actually like that. So, the way the sexual request I've got was to um, pee on somebody. And it was random how it all happened. Like, it was just this dude and he was giving me all these compliments, and he was like, "Yes, like, just give me all these compliments. Like, you're so pretty." And I, like, oh, y'all, they mowing the lawn. That's random. It's raining. It's pouring out here. The rain out here, motherfuckers is mowing the lawn. But whatever. Yeah. So, um, he told me he was just giving me compliments and stuff like that. Remember, you got a Chinese restaurant, and like before, like we exchanged numbers, and the first thing he said to me is like, "Would you pee on me?" And I'm like, child, for how much? Okay? Honestly, sounds horrible, but that was my first question because I'm like, what would make you want to um want me to pee on you? And I feel like if you wanted me to pee on you, you got something deep going on where you might be ready to pay a sister. So, honestly, and truly, I asked him how much would he pay for me to pee on him. <laughs> he gave me the price, honestly, y'all, and I peed on him. And I ain't never seen his ass again because I thought he was weird. But sis definitely peed on him and got her coin, okay? All right, name two sexual things that you're not into. Two, one would definitely probably be kissing. Because I don't really like kissing unless I'm really feeling a person. But kissing is re really, 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 like, intimate. And I'm really not into that. But it's like people be wanting to kiss me. And I'm just like, bro, why you want to kiss for? You know what I'm saying? I don't really like kissing at all. So, that's definitely, unless I'm really feeling a person, and you know, I feel that bond to be like, ooh, that it must be kissing on you, baby. But, 
So just be kissing on my phone? No. Another sexual thing I'll probably say I'm not into is maybe anal. Because I did it before. But don't be, don't be thinking just because we get a popping, you're going to just be hitting the back door, baby. Okay? So kissing and back door action will be um, <clears throat> two sexual things. That your girl Maggie Meg just ain't into, baby, okay? Next one. Does porn turn you on, and when was the last time you watched it? Does porn turn me on? No. Honestly, I feel like it's so much acting. Like, it's just so fake that it doesn't turn me on. Um, I feel like maybe if I watch amateur porn, like some homemade, like, shit, probably. But the fact that most of the porn I be running to is, like, legit actors. Like, you know what I'm saying? Child, they don't be turning me on, okay? Um, and the last time I watched porn was a couple weeks ago. I had a good old date with my vibrator. And I'm like, let me fancy with my vibrator and we gonna watch porn. Me and my vibrator gonna watch porn, baby. So, I turned on some porn. And child, like I said, it was so fake. I was watching, like, lesbian porn. And you know what lesbians do. They eat, you know, they, they do what they do, baby. So, one of them was doing it to, to the other one, whatever. And when them stop, they stop for a second. Like they stop for a second. This girl was still moaning. I said, "Y'all, what you still moaning for?" Okay, I was not feeling that. Like that just made me feel like it was so fake. Like, <gasps> boy, don't turn me on, baby. Next one, sex on a first date or just a romantic kiss at the end? Um. Damn, I told y'all I don't like to kiss, baby. Okay. Mm. Honestly, on a first date, I feel like because I don't like kissing, I don't even think I'll be able to get a romantic kiss out of the first date. Um, I don't know, because then it's like sex. It's like, mm, well, it depends on the vibes. It depends on the mood. Because, I mean, we all grown or whatever. Like, it just depends on you. If you, if a person wants to have a one-night stand, I ain't shading them. I ain't judging them. Do what you want to do, baby, okay? But it's like, obviously, it's up to you. So, maybe, I would probably have, damn, that's a hard one. Cause I really hate kissing y'all, but then it's like sex. Do I? Would I even want that? I don't know, child. Next one. What is your favorite type of foreplay? Um, definitely eat my tutti, Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna say the foreplay or is that just oral sex, baby. But definitely eating it on up, baby. I ain't mad at that. And then probably just talking nasty. Like I'm really into the nasty talk. Like. Talk to me like the a whore you just met. Definitely dirty talking in um oral, okay? Dominant or submissive? <clears> hmm. <throat> I think um well me am I dominant or submissive? If if you're talking about me or if because I don't know if you're talking about if that's what I like or if am I dominant or submissive? I'm, I'm gonna take it as you saying am I dominant or submissive? I would probably say for the most part, I'm probably um, submissive, but I can be dominant. I can definitely take control. It depends on the vibe. But for the most part, I would say I was submissive because I'm like, Zaddy, do me, okay? <laughs> do me, baby. But I would, um, I can get dominant. You know, you get to this Maggie Max, so definitely get dominant. But like off the bat, I would probably go with submissive. If you can choose to do anything you would like to do tonight, what would it be? Take my ass in the house. Okay, I got Rona out here, baby. I'm taking my ass in the house, baby. Ain't shit I want to do. I shouldn't even be outside the fuck right now, baby. Okay, so definitely um, what I would want to do tonight is take my ass in the house and lay the fuck down somewhere. Um, What is the best time of day to have sex? Um, I'm a night owl. <laughs> I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl, baby. It just depends on what's going on. But I feel like maybe wake me up. Maybe we're going to wake up sex. Get some... um. Give me some pep in my step, baby, okay? You're the flirt expert. Give three good tips. <laughs> okay, best flirting tips, I would say. I would say best flirting tips is eye contact. 
I feel like eye contact is very sexy, it's intimate, but it's not too much. It's like, I'm just, I'm focused on you, baby, okay? Communication, like, let me know what's going on, baby. Like, not being too straightforward, but if you're feeling somebody, don't play, like, the games. Like, I feel like games, like, don't, like just kill the whole vibe. Like, don't be too strong with it, but keep it real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Say say what it is on your mind, okay? So, I definitely feel like being being open about what's going on without being too strong once you find somebody just playing too much game and beating around the bush too much it gets like all right boy you playing okay number three would probably be just give compliments um i, I give compliments but i don't over compliment where it's like girl hop off these hop off these nuts baby okay but um i definitely would say um give compliments um what is the extremist sexual act you have ever performed damn not extreme baby um i had some whew, i'm like who just thinking about it baby i'm like well that shit felt extreme baby so i would say i was having makeup sex and i don't even think we was even fully made up it was just like me and the person had a really deep like sexual connection and i think we was both mad at each other still even i'm um, like while we was having sex and it was almost like legit y'all it was legit like we was fuck fighting like i'm dead ass serious like it was so intense it was like, like we was wrestling but fucking like it was really intense and i was feeling that like because it was like we was like really aggressive but like in a sexual way like choking me throwing me like and i'm like pushing him off it was just like that was really intense to me like because it almost felt like a fight but it's like a feel good fight or whatever like right? um describe your ultimate sexual fantasy i would probably definitely say <laughs> y'all i don't know what it is for me with the whole slave thing and why do i think like slaves are so sexy but it's like slaves were dark skin not the house ninjas but the you know the outside ninjas okay so they was dark skin strong black men you know what i'm saying that just sounds like baby <laughs> okay so i would definitely say my biggest sexual fantasy like if i can go back to like the 1800s and not be a slave my damn self because um i will be the fuck outside but um i would definitely want to i would definitely want to fuck a slave i'm dead ass because child okay i will be on that let's see I will be on that plantation getting waxed left and right, baby. Let me let me get the opportunity to really fuck a real deal slave, baby, okay? Take me to 1800s, baby. Don't make me be a slave, okay? Like, I, I could be, like, the person that is, like, you gotta tear her shit down if you wanna get out of slavery, baby, okay? Name your favorite place to be touched. Hmm, I would say definitely I like my nipples being touched like and it might not even be exactly being sucked but Just being touched A good nipple touch would definitely activate will activate me, baby. Okay, I put it down right y'all final question last but not least What do you do best sexually? Okay. I would probably say aura because I feel like I do it best because I enjoy doing it. If you don't like doing something sexually, you're probably not going to do it good because it's going to be like a task. It's going to be a job. It's going to be annoying. Even though a blow job is a job, basically. It's going to be a task. You're not going to be into it. But I feel like... I feel like my oro is just so awesome because I, I enjoy giving heads. It would definitely be head, okay? All right, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit the post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post. If you have any um, content ideas for your good sis, Maggie Mags, let me know. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Life is good. <laughs>